Wati.io tutorial for beginners. How to create chatbots with Wati. So hello guys and welcome back to today's video. So currently as you can see we're currently in Wati and out of the many different features that you are able to do with Wati, we're going to be focusing in or on our chatbots. So over here at the top section, you will be able to see the what or the chatbots option. Simply select that and you should then be able to be redirected to our page over here, which is filled or is focused on chatbots. So we have chatbots over here. We have triggers over here as well and so on and so forth. There are many things that you will be able to customize and modify, but with our uh, from scratch or you're sucking from the scratch, you can simply click on add chatbot over here on the top right. Over here, this is where we will be able to create our chatbots. There are many templates for us to choose from over here. I recommend that you choose one of these templates so that it will save you a lot of time and effort and you won't waste your time creating a chatbot from scratch when an existing one already exists. For example, you want one for your e-commerce, there's an e-commerce option over here. So just simply select that. But if none of this offers what you are trying to do or trying to create, you can easily just simply click on start from scratch. I'm going to be showing you both of these options. So for example, let's go with one of the templates for now. Then later on, we'll explore the one with the scratch version. Anyway, over here. So there is a limit of how many chatbots that you could create. So let me delete some of this. Well, let's continue with one of the available chatbots for now since it's not letting us create a new one with our free account. But anyway, we're here. There are different types of chatbots that we can see here. We have chatbots for real estate, restaurants, appointment booking, uh, education, and so on and so forth. I think the most basic one over here would be the general appointment booking. So simply select uh, or open our chatbot over here and you can see here our workflow of our chatbot. So we could uh, scroll out over here. So you can see this is like the process. So the starting point over here is the section. So it will send a message. Hey, I am, or how are you doing? So you could modify this to whatever corporation you are or whatever message that you want to initially be sent to that person. And you could even set up some initial questions that are going to be available, for example, over here. So what this would look like is that in chat, there will be an additional, or before you could chat your own message, uh, you will have the option to enter or search or send this specific message over here then over here will be the follow-up questions after this is answered followed by another question and followed by another question and so on and so forth and then you have your ending message over here so this will basically be a chatbot for easy appointment booking we could easily create your different types of booking over here or your chatbot using the different options we have over here on the left side so you have the send message uh, with no response required from the visitor, you are also asking a questions and conditions over here. So depending on the complexity of your chatbot on how you want to build it, it would be different, of course. So for example, over here, uh, we could have sent a message over here. So we have message. So let's say we are in e-commerce platform. So we could say, what are you looking for? Day. Something like that. Uh, let's switch this just an example and then we could select some variables over here if you want to have these are like input variables but anyway this is our question and then after that now you have different types of question over here so you could either ask anything to the users have uh, choices or have a list of choices so uh, for example we're going to have to add the list over here we could connect them by simply dragging it into or dragging our uh, question over here or our initial message into your question but anyway this is our list of question over here so what are you looking for today uh, you could click this and you could now input a value or a header over here or a text so let's say categories and over here uh, let's save this for now so we are trying to ask for categories so what you could do is you can now modify our questions over here so 
uh it's asked you could also modify the body text over here uh let's just you could put something over here so choose from the following categories to help you with your search something like this as an example then you have a footer text then the bottom text over here uh for this one you could just what uh have whatever answer you have uh, and so on and so forth you could put in your different categories over here so these are choices based on the button so uh let's double click this so if the button uh this one over here button text so let's say this is for shoes and then you could have here loafers and then you could have a specific answer over here or a specific brand or something like that you could have something like that and after they get through the specific part you could add another section it could be another question similarly to how this is structured we could also have some other options over here as you can see uh, which could trigger other chatbots as well so for example you could do this and you could trigger other chatbots that are necessary so for example uh, you have a help chatbot and you have this e-commerce chatbot right so if they're asking for help and they're not looking for helping in finding a product you could add or trigger another chatbot over here which will help which is built specifically for handling their specific tasks so that's just an example of what you could have here and you could also set up some conditions over here wherein if something happens or if something is confirmed or something i could type it or select a variable here then you could say if it's equal to or something like that uh basically if something occurs you could adjust or tell your code or your automation over here to do something else so for example over here if the person chose a specific date that is already on a specific or on a specific date as well something will activate so the green one over here if it's true and the red one over here if it's false so you could have that also this will save you a lot of time as well you don't need to drag and drop it so let's delete this one actually there you go you can just simply drag it into your empty space and you will have the options on what you need to do over here or what you want to have so for example buttons as you can see here and then same thing you could redirect what happens to answer one and what happens to, uh, to answer two something like that so it's very straightforward and let's actually check out one of the more complicated ones so for example the real estate over here uh, it's a bit longer but as you can see what it's going to do is it's going to ask questions or like give the customer choices on what it can help it with then there's different options or output for each and every answer over here going through and going through over here funneling to the ending or funneling back to the same ending option over here so that's basically how you will be able to create chatbots and you can manage them in this page over here and there are different triggers over here that you guys could check out as well like key action words our reply material routing chatbots and sequence as well so uh, anyway that's it for now guys uh if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching